Should we get you changed? Should we do a little magic trick? Shall we? Ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! He's just fallen asleep after a feed. Oh, I might be waking him up. I was going to hoover her, so that's kind of cancelled those plans. I'll have a little sleep. Whilst Darlow has a sleep, I'm going to quietly sort through all this stuff in here. Where he's not using this cot yet, it's just literally came like a dumping ground. We've got his sleeping bag thing that he's grown out of. We've got a little play thing, lots of toys and extra pillows. So I need to sort all this out, really. Okay, that's all done. I've just put his toys and stuff down there and then got rid of the extra pillows. But he's still asleep. I wasn't expecting him to fall asleep because he had a bit of a morning nap earlier. But if the baby wants to sleep, the baby sleeps. I'm just going to sort through this pile of washing and put all that away. Arlo's clothes all put away. I did a tap to tide on my Instagram the other day and it just was so satisfying doing it. It was just so nice to see it go from really dirty to really tidy. So I might have to do more of those. Someone's woken up and you've been dribbling in your sleep. That is so funny. Aww. Wakey, wakey, little boy. Now that Arlo's awake, he's going to be playing with his little activity gym, which our friend Sab actually kindly sent us. I think it's from John Lewis, but um, he loves it because you can like, you can bat at these and then the little crinkly bit, like crinkly leaf down here makes a funny sound. So he likes like moving his feet on it a bit. She's just going to be in there whilst I quickly hoover the room. When he was a newborn, he used to fall asleep to the sound of the hoover. I don't quite think it will have the same effect, but he loves that little gym. I also just thought I'd show you this. So I ordered this last week and it's for, it's like a little tripod for my camera. But I'm just shocked at how small it is. I didn't think it would be that small. It's like absolutely tiny. It probably said the dimensions on there, but for some reason I didn't check them. But I'm sure it'll still be good. I'm. It'll be good to just kind of stick in your pocket and stuff. But I'm just like shocked at how small it is. It's tiny weenie. I wasn't expecting it to be that small. Just about to give Arlo a nappy change. And as you can see, he's on the move. You go, boy. <laughs> now that he can roll over, it makes nappy changing so much harder. Doesn't it, little man? And he's off. The two little teeth that have come through at the very bottom, I don't know if you'll be able to see because he keeps them quite hidden. There, haven't you? We're not quite there with sitting up yet. If he's sitting, I've got to have my hands under and, like, support him. But, God, you like looking at the camera, don't you? You playing with your toes? That's another thing we've learned recently. 
You've been a very good boy today. He's had two little naps, which I wasn't quite expecting. Normally, he doesn't nap that much in the day, do you, little man? But today... Yeah, oh, you've been a bit tired, have you? So change your bum. I think we'll probably go downstairs now. Do some tidying up down there. I think there's some washing up to do and stuff like that. And we're going to make a soup for lunch, I think. A nice yummy soup. I'm going to show you all how I make my healthy soup. <laughs> Look at that side eye. Oh. Um, so I've got all the ingredients here. I'm just going to run through what I do. I'm going to probably speed it up because soup making does take a long time. But I just find it really easy making soups because I just um, put it all in the oven and it kind of just makes itself really. But I'll explain all. So I've got all the ingredients here. I literally just kind of shove anything that we've got in. I might get a few more carrots because I don't know if it's going to be big enough. But I've just got two sweet potatoes, a large white onion, some carrots. <laughs> oh, is that right? Uh, we're not putting Arlo in the soup today. <laughs> oh my God, that's such a bad like mum joke. Um, and the yellow pepper, some garlic, some seasoning, I just got some crushed chilli, some ginger basil, some chicken seasoning, um, olive oil and a little bit of like spicy oil because um, I like a little bit of a kick and pepper, salt and then we've got some honey because I like to drizzle some honey on it just to make it a bit sweet. So I'm probably going to start by just peeling um, the potatoes and the carrots and then chopping up the onions and the pepper so I will show you all what I do. And I've preheated the oven. So I've just put it on 200 degrees and I'm just gonna um, put some oil in the bottom of there to begin with and then put that in the oven just so um, it like the oil gets all nice and warm and we'll cook that or when it's all ready to go in. So yeah. And today is a very good day because I've got my little helpers. <laughs> These are Arlo's aunties. So they're gonna kind of keep him entertained whilst I'm doing some soup making. You're doing your homeschooling as well, aren't you? Yeah. So you've got lots to be doing. Hopefully Arlo doesn't distract you too much. Oh, no, he's okay. dear. Right, and also I wanted to say, I don't know where I learned this trick. It's not really a trick, but um, I always just have like an empty bowl when I'm doing this kind of stuff because it's so easy just to put all the peelings and any things that you need to like throw in the bin. So I just put it all in that bowl and then empty it at the begin at the end. Sorry. Um, so yeah, right. I'm gonna get into it because I'm starving, hungry. the pepper carrots and sweet potato i put it in here because i'm going to give it a bit of a wash first um i haven't done the onion or the garlic yet because obviously i'm not going to wash them <laughs> okay. yum it smells really good already it's been in for about whoa that's very steamy 
been in for about 20 minutes. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. It's about halfway ready. Whilst the soup is in the oven roasting, I just thought I'd come upstairs. Arlo was getting a bit ratty. I think he was getting a bit tired. And he was indeed. I've just given him a feed and he's fallen asleep again. I said in one of my other videos that he doesn't have a very good like daytime napping routine. Which he doesn't really. He just kind of naps as and when. Whilst I was asleep, I just thought I'd show you a couple of things that I ordered um, that came. They're from a shop called kidly.com and they just do a little mixture of toys, feeding stuff, clothing, things like that. So I've got two little um, drinking cups. They're called Sip Natural Drinking Cups. I think what makes them natural is because they've got those sort of like rubbery holes around the outside, which makes it easy for the babies um, to kind of hold and grip onto. So we've got two of those in like a nice sort of like greeny grey colour. They were quite cheap as well. I can't remember how much um, for everything, but I can leave the link down below. And then I got a new Teva. They actually match his um, leggings, which are quite cute. So they've got the little like teething balls and I guess they can also like bite onto the wooden bit that they hold onto as well. So I think that'd be really, really good. I'm going to sterilise that so that he can use it later on today. We got some rattles. Um, I tried to find sort of like musical toys. But I think he's a little bit too young for them at the moment. Um, so I just got some easy hold and uh, easily held um, little egg shake. Uh, oh my God, I can't speak. <laughs> little egg shakers. And then the other thing I got was this bib. This is like an all-in-one bib. So it like goes over the arms and things like that. So these two will be really good for when we start to wean him. Because he doesn't drink water at the moment. But when I start to wean him, he will do. Um, and because he's breastfed, he doesn't really take to a bottle very well. So I just thought instead of trying to get him to drink water from a bottle, I might just see how he gets on with drinking it from a cup to good with. Obviously, he hasn't got that much of like a good uh, like a steady grip so i think we'll have to probably help him with that but um yeah i'm excited to see how he gets on with those i've just been reading the packaging from these sip natural drinking cups they're from a company called cognicky kids they seem like quite a good brand i've just been reading and apparently it helps um their hand-eye coordination their oral health and their facial development as well just from um drinking out of these cups so we'll see how he gets on with them they seem quite good. It says specially designed open cup and grip, perfect for little hands and mouths. So yeah, I'm quite impressed with these guys so far. Just come downstairs because I need to sort out the soup. The veg has actually gone down low. I suppose it obviously shrinks when it cooks, but that's all done now. I'm going to put it in a um, saucepan with some water and I might add a stock cube um, to get that boiling. Arlo's asleep upstairs. I've got him on the camera so I can keep an eye on him still. Someone's awake. Hey, wee man. Did you have a nice nap? Yeah, hello. As suspected, straight for the mouth. Do you like them? Look, they make a shaky sound. <gasps> wow. some water with the soup and just let it cook for a while i'm just gonna whiz it up this is actually really good it's just like a little food blender i got it from b m a while ago it was only like six or seven pounds it was really cheap and i use it all the time it's really good uh but i'll show you the finished product once it's done eat my soup i've got it here we're gonna catch up on some youtube little man's just sitting between my laps he's very cross today because he's teething not cross i wouldn't say cross is the right word but just not not really himself, are you, little man? He didn't like that little teaver I gave him. I think I gave it to him at the wrong time. He likes playing with his toes at the moment. That seems to be his favourite toy. Uh, but he's just going to sit with me and chill for a bit. Let's do... Where's Arlo gone? There he is! Where's Arlo gone? There he is! And another one. Now you got the muzzy. Where's Arlo gone? There he is! 
So Charlie's just got home from work. We've taken the dogs out, they're going mad. Let me show you. Ready? Should we do the magic trick? Should we get you in your pyjamas? Ready? One, two. <gasps> Ta-da! In our pyjamas. Someone's definitely ready for bed. Are you tired? Are you tired? Yeah. Look at those teethy pegs coming through. Is this for your vlog? Yeah, it's for my vlog. I'm a bit paranoid these days. Why? After some of the things you left in there. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, bless you. Bless you. Oh, light's gone off. The boys are just chilling. Show them what you're eating. Why? Vermin. Vermin of the fruit world. Banana. Ugh. Charlie's yeah. actually got a phobia of bananas. Yeah. Okay. I should be getting him ready for bed now. How nice does that sunset look? And the moon, look at it. Looks amazing. Right, end this vlog with me, ready? You say what you want to say. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm actually very disappointed. Um, by what? By what you've done to me in the last it. vlog. Okay. Probably a bit more trust than that, but I'm What's sure. you doing? Oh my lordy. India? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end this vlog here before it gets too dark. But thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, then you deserve a medal. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I feel like it's going to be quite long. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe so you'll see more of my videos. Don't, because I'm actually going to leave that in. If you're not happy with the facial pull-in, it's being left in. <laughs> thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.